Ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting start to episode 7 of season 3 on the Neo Network server. What I have in my hand right now is a May Crate key. I've actually never opened a monthly crate before, so I figure it's about time. I had some gift cards from voting and everything, and I picked one up, so I'm pretty excited. Now, I'm really hoping that my luck is good because I've seen that these are very hit or miss. I've seen some people that get almost nothing from them and other people that get tons of servants and really good stuff. So what I'm not looking for is some of the boosters and that type of stuff, or even the sword and all that kit stuff. What I really want is, honestly like chat gradient isn't that good, but that would be kind of fun to get. But I'd really like servants. Um, it's probably the biggest thing I'm going for here. So, yeah, without further ado, let's kick off the episode by opening this up. All right, guys, I'm kind of nervous. Do I get to see what's in it? Ooh, I do. Okay. What can we get? Looks like there's a lot of tags. I don't really need the tags, though. Check radiants are cool, I guess. Like, the seafoam one, I, always, I think that's pretty cool. And, like, maybe other keys would be fun, just because then that's more to open up. But I don't really need much. So like the, the generators would be really good. 100k sky coins. Yeah, let's open this up and see what we get. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm a little nervous. Uh, let's do it. I got the shout command. Servant keys, okay, okay. I'll take that. Okay, we got the servant keys. That was something I really wanted. Um. I don't need the shout perk. I think I already get that with Wither Rose. The tags are kind of cool, I guess. Let me redeem those. Maybe I'll change up my whole color scheme. Right now I have a... Right now I have a purple whole color scheme here. I might switch that up. We have a lemonade tag and the Mayflowers tag. Alright, I'll throw that up on the auction house for 75 mil. We got some extreme enchantment books. Okay, the spawners, not that great. Where's all my spawners? I'll throw those in there. I already have plenty of Enderman spawners. Um, servant keys, I'm gonna save for last. I guess I'll throw on this gear just because it's better than what I currently have on. I'm just gonna trash these other two. Sky coins booster three and a half times for one hour. Okay, that's actually really good. So I think what I'll do is build out some more farms and let all of them grow and then just farm for an hour straight and do that. That would be pretty sick. So I'm gonna pop open these enchantment books, see what we get. Dragon Protection 5, that's really good. Soul Hunter 5, Dragon Hunter 2, these are solid books. These are really solid books. Let me throw all of these away. Um, I need Dragon Protection, I'll put that on... Actually, I don't think I can put that on defensive armor. But I'll set that aside in case I can. I'll throw that in my PV1. Soul Hunter 5 I already have on my sword. I'll see how much that's selling for. Okay, that sells for a lot. I'm gonna throw this up there for like 210 mil. Sweet. And now onto the servant keys. I guess I'll do them all at once. We can go place them. Oh. Give me something good. Tier 5s. I'll take that. It's not too bad. Oh my gosh, what is that? Okay, I don't love that. I'm gonna switch all these guys to mining. Actually, let me know in the comments if I should have these on slaying or mining. Because um, right now they're not super high levels, so I'm not quite sure what I should put them on. I feel like mining is pretty solid, because a lot of the things come by in the rotating shop as well. Um, let me upgrade... I think I can upgrade efficiency on these guys. Upgrade servant, efficiency... Yeah, that's fine. Let's get all of these up to 10 out of 10 efficiency, since I have the money for it. Sick. Those are all maxed there. I'm really trying to get my mining masteries up, but it is just taking a long time. I try and just keep using the super breaker like this, and this gen is pretty efficient, but it's tough. I think I need to mine even more often. Sick, so I have a whole bunch of servants now. Sugarcane farm has grown. I think what I'm going to do next is actually build out the wheat farm in preparation for utilizing some of my sky coins boosters and just getting a whole bunch of farms going. So let me go to home potato. All right, I'm gonna go down this way. I'm gonna grab all the dirt that I have. 
There's actually more than I thought. I'm gonna come down one, two, three. How far down is this? Five. So I think if I build it on this layer here, I think this should work well. So now I'm just gonna fast place a whole bunch of dirt to fill in the rest of this area. It's kind of funny how hard it is to get started on the server initially, just when you don't have the money. I remember I was struggling to get enough dirt and everything in the beginning, but once you figure out ways to make money, like selling boat keys, stuff like that, you can take off really fast. Because I went from struggling to have enough money to now I have more than I really need, besides buying stuff like armor. But for the necessities of expanding farms and everything like that, I have as much money as I could need. All right, all of this layer is done. So what I'm gonna do now is grab my super seed bag and try and find some seeds, maybe on the auction house or something like that, or maybe I'll just buy them from the shop and start to fill in this area. But before I do that, I do wanna open a pet egg real quick. I've got a reaper pet. Um, I don't think that's really helping me out. Souls, I don't really care about souls. So let me actually re-roll pets. Um, realistically, I'm not really gonna use the zombie pet, I don't think. Am I though? I kinda like skeleton, zombie, and mole pet. So I'm gonna wait until I get one more before I re-roll. Still shooting for the iron golem pet. How much are seeds in the shop? I'm kinda scared. 9,000 each? All right, let's see if anybody lists wheat seeds on the auction house. That would be really good if they are. Okay, so I just spent a ridiculous amount of money trying to buy some seeds. I have 2,100, almost 2,200. Bought them for 4,000 each off of the auction house, which is so overpriced, but it was cheaper than the shop, so I guess that works. And I guess I'm gonna start placing now. Oh, I need light. I'll do this row, and then I need to add light so they don't start breaking after I place them. All right, that one's done. So the spacing is all done. Now I'm just gonna use fast place to fill some of these in. Okay, all the lighting's filled in, so now I'm gonna get back to placing until I use up all of my seeds and then see if I can find some more. And that's as many seeds that I had, which is a good start. I think if I let this grow and then I harvest it, that'll get me maybe all the way across the rest, at least most of the way. So we'll leave it at that for now and let this grow in. At least I got the layer built. That was the big thing I wanted to do. Looks like potatoes are ready to harvest. I do want to check out the dragon arena quick. It looks like it's relatively close to spawning in, so I might actually chill here and do one more dragon fight. Oh, we got a dragon fight! I'm taking a quick break to fight the dragon. Ooh, experienced. I really want defensive. Of course, champion would be really sick too, but really weak start for me. Oh my gosh, it sends you back so far. Yeah, my arrows aren't doing very much. Most of the damage has to come from swords. Come on! I need more damage! I wanna hit 2,000. 2,000 should secure me in top 5. If not, like, top 2 or 3. It keeps hitting me back. I really want that 2,000 2, damage mark. Alright, we got 3rd. But yeah, 2,000 would've gotten me in 2nd. What did I get? I got a legendary pouch, not too bad. Okay, just threw the experienced fragments up on the auction house for 200,000 apiece. So now I have 36 of them up there. I'm gonna go back to my island and open up the legendary boss pouch. See if we get anything good. Hopefully a petal key. Not quite. <laughs> Cosmetic key. And sky cool. I'm not sure if I should increase my island generator or my crop growth rate, because I have 100,000 sky coins in my island bank. I think that's from the keys and everything I opened. Or do I go for a mob drop multiplier and start grinding mobs more? Hmm. I like farming a lot. I think I'm gonna go crop growth rate. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I can't wait until I get auto replant. My herbalism being 1,000. It'll be so nice. I think we're gonna continue the trend of shorter, more pointed videos. So I think we're gonna end things there. So as always, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.